Hello and welcome to this episode of the Of Course You Did podcast. I am trying something new with this one. I am recording it as a video as well at the same time. So we will see how that goes. In this episode, I'm going to be walking you through part of the process that I take my clients through in order to help them develop their own coaching method. At first, I was going to do this as one episode, and then I realized that it actually needs to be broken down into two separate parts because there really is two separate parts to this. So what we're doing in this episode is we're going to focus on the information that you need to know first before you actually go through the steps of developing your UCP, your unique coaching process. This is the exact process that I walk my private clients through in my paid intensive. I am literally sharing exactly the process with you right now. I'm hoping this is going to be really helpful for you. And I also want to give you a preview of how I would walk you through this process if we were actually working together so that you could see that there is a real process that I've created and that I take my clients through. So let's dive into the work. When you are creating your unique coaching process, I'm just going to call it UCP for short from now on. When you are developing your UCP, there is some pre-work that goes into it. It's not just about creating the method that you guide your clients through. There's a few things that you need to have done in advance in order to create a really good and really effective coaching method, coaching process. I use the words process and method interchangeably. So whatever you hear me saying, this is what I'm talking about, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is you need to know who your ideal client is. This stuff here in this episode that I'm going to be talking about now is actually most of the work. The process, the framework that I'm going to share to actually develop your process, like your actual steps that you take your that you take your client through, that's really simple. I'll share that in the next episode. Uh, but most of the work is going to come from the stuff that I'm sharing with you today. It's essential. It's important. Without it, you have nothing to build on. You can't have a coaching process without the work that we're going to do in this episode. There's nothing for you to build on. Like this is this is 90% of the work right here. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to know where they're at right now in their journey. For the purposes of your UCP, you don't need to know like like the stuff about their age. Well, age is helpful, but the stuff about what their coffee order is or where they like to shop. That kind of stuff is really handy when it comes to ads because you can use that information to specifically target those people with your ads. But for the purposes of your UCP, we're not talking about that stuff. We're talking about where is your ideal client right now in their journey when they come to you. So many coaches think that they need to help everyone solve every problem. So let's say you're a health coach and you help people lose weight. Most health coaches think that they need to help anyone and anyone who wants to lose weight to lose weight, but that's actually not the case. What's more helpful for you And more helpful for your clients in actually getting results if you're really specific about where they are right now in their journey. Where are they at when they come to you for help? Because if you are a health coach and you you help people lose weight, for example, the person that comes to you that wants to lose 100 pounds is going to need different support and different coaching and different expertise from the person that's going to come to you who wants to lose 10 pounds. That's gonna be an entirely different coaching process for them. So I'm going to, I've got my my document that I have for my one-to-one intensive and I'm going to read to you right now the kinds of things that I have when I talk about 
exactly where my ideal client is in their journey. So it's a little bit of the way down. So the best person for this program, and I'm going to, I'm reading this to you for the purposes of helping you understand how clear you need to be and, and the fact that you don't always have to help someone who's at the very beginning of their journey, because that might not be the person who's going to be getting the best results with you. With mine, And my coaching, the person who's at the very beginning of their journey is not set up to get success from my coaching, the current coaching program that I have right now. So I don't help people who are at the very beginning of their journey because they're not going to get the results that my program guarantees and promises. So in mind, the best person for this program is not currently looking to change what kind of service that they offer. So they're pretty clear on exactly what they offer and who they offer it to. They have a clear idea on the problem that they solve and who they enjoy helping the most. They're not in any other coaching programs or group coaching or masterminds and won't be working with any other coaches while we're working together. They Their current coaching offer is a minimum of $3,000 for three months and they've sold at least 10 of those offers. So they've made a minimum of $30,000 from their one-to-one coaching offer. So that is the level of detail that I'm at with my point A for my client. And I also have a bit in here where it says um, they have, they coaches and their coaches and experts, and they have years of experience with great client results. So this is really being crystal clear on who this is for. It's pointing out that they already are a coach, that they're already making money. They already have results. They've been doing this for a while because of something that I'll get to in just a bit. But the difference between someone who is brand new to coaching and someone who has been coaching for a while and has already signed clients and gotten results is maybe the brand new coach doesn't know sales and they need to know sales in order to achieve the results that my offer promises and guarantees, which is three to five new clients per month, they need to know sales. They need to know how to do sales calls. They need to feel confident closing. They need to know all of that stuff. My offer doesn't teach that. I don't teach that in my offer. So that person is not set up for success to to sign up with me. So I don't work with people. I've got, I'm clearly calling out who this is for. So you need to do the same with your offer. You need to decide exactly where the person is right now that you want to work with. Do you want to work with people that are 100 pounds overweight? Or do you want to work with people who need to, who want to fit into like a jeans two sizes smaller? Either way is absolutely okay but you need to just be clear on it. You need to be clear on it for yourself and for your client because you want the people who come to you, who work with you to get the best results. You need to set them up for success and for getting the best results. And the way to do that is to say, okay, this offer is going to help these people and it's actually not gonna be helpful for these people. You're doing them a favor by by doing that. Like by saying it's not going to be a fit for you or it is going to be a really good fit for you. And you might want to try and help everyone. You might just want to say, I want to help anyone who wants to lose weight. I can help anyone who wants to lose weight. But that's not going to help your marketing. It's not going to help your coaching. And it's not going to be beneficial to your clients if you are creating a program because they're going to get subpar results. Not everyone is going to be set up for success to get 100% results. And especially with my coaching, I guarantee results. So I say to my clients, like, you are going to get results when we work together. It's a guarantee. I'm going to work with you until we get the results. This is how I guarantee guarantee results like literally like I guarantee that we will get the results that you're after and that I'm promising from our work together and the only way I can do that is if I say it's I will only coach people who are at this level already so if you want to help people at the beginning of their journey that's okay but you just need to scale back the kind of result that you are going to promise, that you are going to offer. Now notice when I shared my 
the parameters that I have for who this program is a fit for. It was very clear on the kind of person. It wasn't something like, okay, this pers- this program is a good fit for someone who who wants to connect to their inner guidance, who wants to align with their feminine leadership. Those are not clear. Those are actually vehicles or methods that you use to help your clients get results. They're not a result in and of themselves and they're not a state, they're not a way of being, they're just a method that you use to help your client get results. And we that's way too vague because no one is sit around sitting around saying to themselves, I just want to connect with my feminine leadership. That's all I want. That's going to solve my problem. I'm awake at night just thinking about how much I want to connect to my feminine leadership. Like no one is doing that. They're sitting around laying awake at night saying to themselves, I really want to make more money in my business. I want to make $100,000. I want to sign three to five clients a month. I want to, I really want to lose 10 pounds. I really want to lose 100 pounds. And maybe the way that you help them lose 100 pounds or 10 pounds or sign three to five clients a month is by connecting to their feminine leadership or whatever it is. Maybe that's the method that you use and that's okay, but that's not a result or where your client is starting from. It's not a point A. Then what we need to do is figure out the result. Where does your ideal client want to be? What tangible parameters are you going to use to explain where they're going to be in their life when they finish working with you? So an example from mine is three to five new clients per month. That is specific, desired, and measurable. So the point B of your ideal client needs to be that clear. It needs to be that clear. It doesn't have to be sexy. Again, saying something like you'll feel confident and connected to your feminine femininity. That in itself is not a result. You can use that as a method. You can incorporate that into your UCP when we get to that in the next episode. We'll incorporate that in there, but right now we're going to leave that. We're going to put that to the side and we're going to stay clear and concise and we're going to develop a or create a or uncover is probably a better word, uncover the desired point B of your ideal client, specific, desired and measurable. And again, going back to the health coach who helps their clients lose weight, the difference between 100 pounds, losing 100 pounds and losing 10 pounds is pretty significant. That's a completely different point B. You're going to have different marketing. You're going to need different coaching. You're going to need different kinds of support. Your clients are coming to you at completely different places. So you need to be clear on where they want to be because when you are creating your UCP, you need to be able to say where you're going to get them to. You need to have an end point in mind, a clear, specific, desired, measurable end point that you can share with them, that you can talk about in your podcast episodes and in your Instagram posts and in any of your marketing, in any of your launch content, whatever it is, you need to be able to say to someone, this is where we're going to get you. This is the place that you're going to be at the end. So again, in mind, three to five new clients per month. Simple. That's it. That's clear, specific, desired, and measurable. It's not vague. It's There's nothing left to the imagination. It's just straight there, easy, done, ready to go. And again, this also has to be something that they say to themselves that they want to achieve. So people aren't sitting around saying to themselves, I just want to connect with my feminine leadership. They're, they're not saying that to themselves. They're saying, I want to lose weight. I want this. I want that. Like you really have to think about things from that perspective perspective because that's what's going to help you get your message across. It's your job as the coach to make all of this as simple as possible for your client. If you want to help people, which you do because you're a coach, part of your job description is actually making what you do and the coaching process 
really easy to understand. You, It's your job to figure out the easiest and simplest way to be able to explain it to people that aren't experts so that they can understand enough to say, oh, I get it. Okay, this is a thing that's going to help me solve this problem. Because if you don't explain it in a clear and simple and easy to understand way to people, you're not going to be able to help them. They, they won't understand, they won't get it because you, th- when you're an expert, you think that everything that comes easy to you comes easy to other people, but that's just not the case. So your job is to make it as easy as possible for other people to understand and grasp. Now, all of this stuff that I've shared, that I am sharing is the stuff that I go through in my one-to-one intensive Obviously, we have a lot more time because I can figure out who you are and what your coaching is and who your clients are. And we we have like one-on-one time to talk and go through this and narrow it all down. And we have time to get really specific on this because all of this is, it's the foundation of your entire coaching business. It's really, it's, I can't, I don't even know how to explain. Like, I think I say it, I just repeat myself every time I say it's so important. It's so important. It's the foundation. Hopefully the fact that I'm explaining it to you in as much detail as I am right now is sounding some bells, turning on some light bulbs and helping you put the pieces of the puzzle together to say, oh, okay, I get why this is important. I understand. And what I want you to do also to un- to help you understand this is put it into practice. So whatever I'm sharing with you day, today, put it into practice start implementing it for yourself so that you can you can conceptualize and integrate how this is important why it's important because you'll start to notice the shift and put the pieces together yourself so if what i'm saying if something that i'm saying isn't crystal clear to you that's okay just apply what you can and start putting into practice Whatever you can right now, whatever you do understand, whatever is making sense, and then let the rest flow. You can reach out to me. We can chat on Instagram. You can let me know if there's something that you need me to go deeper on. That's okay as well. So another part of figuring out their point B, where they want to be, the result that they want, the outcome that they want, and the one that you're going to help them achieve. So a question that you can ask yourself here is, What's stopping them from being able to lose weight, right? Maybe your client wants to lose weight. Your ideal client wants to lose weight. And deep down, the reason that they want to lose weight is so that they can dress sexier. They want to be able to dress like the influencers that they see on Instagram or whatever reason. But let's just say it's to dress sexier, whatever their version of sexier is. You need to ask yourself, What's currently stopping them from being able to lose the weight so that they can dress sexier? What's getting in their way? And if you're a mindset coach that helps people lose weight, obviously for you, maybe it'll be self-talk and their mindset. You're the expert and you know that it's their self-talk and their mindset that's getting in the way. And that's going to be the focus of your UCP. That's going to be your diagnosis of their their problem. Now, they probably won't know that this is the cause and that's okay. They don't need to. It's your job as the coach to show them, to prove to them that this is why your mindset and self-talk is getting in the way. It's not because you don't know how to count macros. That's not why you can't lose the weight. It's because you're telling yourself it's not even worth it. I could teach you how to count macros, but that's not going to make a difference at all because at the root of it all, before you even start counting the macros, you're going to tell yourself it's not worth it to count the macros anyway. So that's why you as the expert know that it's a problem. They probably don't know that that's what's causing their problem. And through your marketing and all of your content, you come in and you can say, look, I know you've got this problem. I know this is a challenge for you and no one's told you this before, but it's actually your self-talk and your mindset. And I'm going to show you why and I'm going to offer you a solution. I'm going to tell you how you can actually 
fix that problem, how you can improve your self-talk and mindset and you'll see the differences in in losing weight it's actually going to become a lot easier for you and the last thing that I want to talk about today is you also need to know what your client is bringing to the success equation what's their sophistication level regarding their problem and the solution what have they tried have they tried anything do they know that solutions are available? Do they have certain knowledge about something already? Do they have certain experiences already? Have they achieved a certain level of success already? So again, f- going back to the example of my coaching, my clients need to be bringing a certain level of success to the equation in terms of they already need to know how to do sales calls because I'm not going to teach that and that's a requirement of signing three to five new clients a month or maybe they do it in the DMs, whatever it is, they know how to have sales conversations. So what level of um, knowledge and success is your client already at in regards to their challenge? Because what you bring as the coach to the coaching and what they bring to the coaching is the outcome of your offer. So you can see how that's going to require different coaching and different processes that's going to create different outcomes for your clients. If you have a beginner client who's never tried to count macros before, or if you your clients know how to count macros, maybe you are a client a coach who helps people lose weight, but they already know how to count macros. They already know what to do in the gym. They already know X, Y, Z, and it's still their self-talk and mindset. You just have different things that you're going to include in your coaching program, as opposed to the, the client that's going to come to you and has never stepped foot in a gym, doesn't know what a macro is, doesn't know anything about self-talk, doesn't even know what self-talk means, you're going to need to provide completely different levels of support and coaching for both of these clients. Neither client is better or worse or harder or easier or whatever. You're just going to be coaching completely in completely different ways. And that's okay. So you need to figure out what your client is bringing to the table. And you can think back to past clients that you've worked with, or even if you've never worked with clients before, you can think about where you were at when you started your weight loss journey. For example, if you are a coach, I just wanted to use a consistent example throughout the whole thing. But if you are a weight loss coach, where where did you start? Or if you've already had clients, where were they? or the ones that you enjoyed working with the most, what's the common thread throughout each of those clients? What was, what stood out to you the most that you liked about working with each of those clients, about where they were at in their journey, that you found that that particular person got the best results from your coaching. Maybe the person who got the best results from your coaching had no idea what macros was, never stepped in a gym before. Maybe they got the biggest transformation from your coaching. And the people who already knew what macros are and already knew how to work out in the gym, maybe they didn't even get very great results from working with you. And that's okay. Or maybe it was the opposite way around. Either way, you just really want to figure out where what your client is bringing to the table because you can match that up to what you're bringing, what you want to coach on and what's going to be best for your client when it actually comes to putting your program together, to put your offer together because all of this is going to determine the length of time that you are coaching with your clients. Again, going back to my example, my intensive is 30 days, minimum 30 days, um, except for like, the results asterisks 
asterisk that I have in there, uh, but it's 30 days because I know exactly where my client is at when they come to me. And I know in order to get them to their specific result, we have to work on point one, point two, and point three, and point four. And that is, those are the steps. Those are the things that we work on to get to their result. And those are the people that get the best results from working with me. So that is it for this episode and video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. If you need me to go deeper on this, if you have questions, if you want to do this, if you want me to do this live on Instagram, um, I guess that's the only place and I place that I go live. Um, if you want me to do this live so you can ask questions, you can also, if you want me to walk you through this process for free, I do, um, coaching on the podcast so you can become, so you can be a guest on the podcast and I will walk you through this process and then obviously it'll become a podcast episode and other people will be able to benefit and learn from it. Maybe that will help, um, illustrate all of these points a lot easier so let me know if you want to join if you want to be a guest on the podcast there is a link in the show notes there for you uh you can also reach out to me on instagram at brookalexander.co hopefully this was helpful i i love recording videos and podcast episodes so i figured i'd do it all in one we'll see how it goes maybe i'll keep doing it maybe i won't but the next episode is going to be how we're actually going to use the information that you've just gotten and create your coaching method, create your process that you can say that you can use to say, this is how I coach people. This is how I am different from all the other coaches. I don't coach like them. We're not going to focus on cookie cutter stuff or whatever it is. I've got a process. This is how it works. This is why I'm different. And this is why it's better. And this is why it's going to get you results. So Don't forget to tune in for that episode. It will be out very shortly after this one. That's it for today and I'll catch you in the next episode.